Welcome back. Well, we have Jerry here with Pacific Financial Planners. Well, welcome back. How are you? Doing great, Lisa. Thanks for having me again. It's, it's been it. a while, and we're happy you can come on. And uh, you guys are pretty consistent with your financial forums that you have, which I think is a great tool for everyone to learn so much when everything is just so crazy out there. It is. We, we think the format's really good. It's a, We meet the last Tuesday of the month, okay. Clubhouse 5, Room 1. Mm -hmm. And um, with that group, we have a lot of experienced investors with a lot of history, right, that, mm -hmm. uh, that can share with each other. That's the forum part of it all. Okay. It's, it's everyone kind of groups in. Yeah, there's a topic, and I you know, bring up different topics and talk about them or moderate them, really, if right. you will. Right. But it's a shared group where people can talk about their experiences and maybe even experiences with that topic. So you have younger, newer people, and you have older, more experienced people, and... Everyone shares. It's a great venue. So you're referring to the people that are attending. So you would say, okay, hey, you know, George, you have had this experience, and then he shares it with the group? Yeah, well, who, who's ah. had some experience with oh, this? Oh, okay. You know, for example, we talk about uh, coming up, uh, you know, we talk about insurance or annuities. Well, those things are very polarizing. I mean, you know, people yeah. either love them or they hate them. Right. And it's the same with the financial advisors. You get these financial advisors, they, if they sell them, they love them, and then you got other advisors that don't sell them, so they hate them. Right. But there's there's kind of a blend in between there, mm -hmm. but in the forum, people can say, well, here's been my experience, mm. and here's what I liked or didn't like about it, okay. and then they could talk about it, and then I could kind of really even help as an expert, 35 years of, you know, being insurance licensed as well as a fiduciary, okay. I don't have an ax to grind. I mean, I can okay. sell them, I don't have to sell them, but I can explain why or why not something is good. Yeah, I, I like that because, you know, sometimes hearing it from the professional is, of course, always great. But when you have a peer who says, oh, I wouldn't do that, this is what happened to me, or this was awesome, which I think is really nice because it seems like I've been doing that lately as I've been talking to peers going, gosh, you know, should I invest in this or should I invest in that because I, I don't have a, a professional that's helping. So you're kind of winging it and you never really know. So that's kind of nice. And then to have you there is even better where you can back that up. Right. Again, that's the whole point of the financial forum. It is a it is a group speak thing. You know, there, I do a fair amount of talking, probably a little too much. <laughs> but you hate talking. <laughs> but the point is, is that uh, sometimes some of the points that people make, you know, and it could be valid. Like, you know, for example, sticking with just subject of, of annuities. Back in the day, you know, 20 plus years ago, when someone retired, they gave them an annuity. And now... People have the choice. Well, do you want your spouse, a spousal continuation in case you pass? But there were other people that had, let's say, a million dollar retirement and they put it all on their own life and they were supposed to get, you know, whatever it was, a thousand dollars a month for life and they died three months later and the spouse was left with nothing. Oh, gosh. So that person's gonna say, I hate annuities. And they rightfully should, but that was 20 years ago annuities. Right. Nowadays, you can, before signing on the dotted line, you can actually get a continuation where there's beneficiaries, et cetera, where okay. that money doesn't work. So there's some falsehoods out there. There are false beliefs that cause people to dislike things, and mm -hmm. sometimes they just heard something. Yeah. But we can filter it out within a group, group think setting, yeah. and that helps. I like that. That's awesome. Now, um, obviously, you were touching on annuities, and there are so many other things that are going on that is quite volatile uh, happening in our stock market, and we have inflation, and we have prices that are through the roof on so many of our commodities and things that we use every day. And I would imagine that the discussion, you know, every time you have a forum going forward now for the rest of the year will probably be, what do we do? Well, Lisa, yes, we always do a market update, and which is what's going on today. And that is a real issue because going back to the last financial crisis, 2007, mm -hmm. 8, 9, mm -hmm. the housing crisis, financial crisis, interest rates dropped to below zero. I right. mean, people that used to live on their CD interest rates couldn't do it anymore. And you had the right. Federal Reserve chairman saying, well, put your money in the stock market, put your money in, in, in yeah. utility companies, et cetera. Right. And that did work for the last you know, 10, 12, 13 years. But what about today with interest right. rates rising? Yeah. So there's insured investments, things that have security, and then there's uninsured or risk investments. Mm -hmm. And the seniors were forced to go pretty much with a large amount of their money 
out of the insured or safe type things, right. where now they could start coming back to that. They, there are things that are paying over 3% for right. two, three years right. without any risk. And, and so people have too much risk, I find, and it mm. depends on each individual, yeah. um, especially here in the community, because I look at these portfolios every day. So, but there are sectors that are winning too. Like you yeah. said, if you are participating in the higher oil and gas, if you're participating in the rising steel costs and the mm -hmm. rising commodity costs by owning those companies or funds or ETFs, you can do well. So it is a matter of if, if you buy and hold and just hope, that's not a really good strategy. And yeah. a lot of people still hold that. We do try to not shake that belief, but get people to understand that things change right. and as they change like right now this war in ukraine etc yeah. you've got to change with it a little bit well right and i and i'm hoping you can help guide folks to that because honestly you know i'm evaluating i'm i'm not retired but i could be in the next you know five years it's like well what do i do now because you really have to look at your nest egg going oh my gosh you know what's going to happen to it and and like you said you're trying to find something that pays more than you know your point zero whatever ridiculous percentages that the banks are doing right when you're five ten years from retirement and certainly when you're in to retirement it is so important to try to get an interest income mm -hmm. for dividends, whether it's an interest rates or wherever you get that money from, I call it income. There's a whole world of income out there. Right. And, and our clients, you know, you can get five, six, seven percent from some of these investments that have risk mm -hmm. and, you know, more like the three percent in the, the safe investments, right. still better than the bank. Yeah. But you've got to have this mind shift from growth because you don't have the time, Lisa, yeah. to wait if you have a 10 year down cycle, which mm -hmm. can happen after a 13 year up cycle, yeah. especially if you start drawing that income off of your portfolio, right. people say, well, it always comes back. It comes back if you're not touching it. So if you're 30, <laughs> 40, and even 50 years old, great. But once you're in your later 50s, 60s and older, mm -hmm. at that point, if you're drawing to replace your paycheck, you've got to make sure that you have return of capital exactly. more than return on capital, which is your growth. Exactly. Now, I know we, we didn't get to talk about one item, but we'll have you back again and have you talk about was long-term care insurance. And I think that's really important to it discuss is. because it can be very costly for some people, but maybe not for others. So let's have you come back and talk about that. And then I also want to have you back. I want to talk about dividends. Right. And that's, yeah, the dividend yeah, income. Because that's, I think that's something everyone should take a look at. It is. Okay. And the long-term care, it's just one point, just have a plan. Yeah. Whether you buy insurance or you plan it out, you pay for it yourself, got to have a plan. We'll talk about that next time. Excellent. Thank you for having me. Though, you're Lisa. welcome. Really and then real quick, it. but if somebody wants to know more about any of the forums that you're having, they should go to safeincometoday.com. Or of course, they can call the number on our screen, 949-219-0692. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. I, th I feel like we should call this segment, you know, more, more of your money with Jerry. You yeah, have more money. <laughs> have more money. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. All right, and of course, if you want more information or to have more money with Jerry, you can go to safeincometoday.com or call the number on your screen. We'll be right back.